Hey guys, and welcome back to Can Code. Today we're doing part 13, which is more on waves. We're mostly just going to be fixing a lot of glitches. I'm going to change a couple of things about the waves, because as I've been going, it seemed a little bit... Uh, I don't know, not super great, I guess. So I'm going to go wave... Uh, we'll say 1 point... Uh, 2, I guess. Uh, and then we'll make this one like four or something. What's gonna happen here is it's going to wait a minute. So the wave is ten. So that's why. But at sometimes it's this is not gonna be a round number, and you can't repeat not a round number. So we're gonna have to make this uh, round. Put this inside a round. And that will make less wait uh, less way people come at each wave. Um, and then I'm also going to say not only this it's going to repeat or it's going to pick a random number like minus two to two uh plus four so it will kind of give or take each time so it won't be an absolute time every time the bad thing about this though is that we will not get the same number for this one it's kind of complicated but we'll just go here make a variable called i for the sprite only and then set the I to pick random, and then we'll make this I, whoops, and then we will uh, add the same thing, whoops, here, like that. Okay, that should be good. Um, now for this score thing here, uh, we're gonna need to make this a little bit differently. So we're going to need to say, I'll make a clone ID, ID for the sprite only, uh, and the clone identification is going to be set to score whenever it creates a clone for this. Now this will happen if it will always show actually so that'll go here but here if the clone ID is equal to score now for this here we want this to switch the costume to wave but we don't want it to actually switch the costume to wave we want it to uh, do kind of this a little bit of code we will kind of change it but this code here is what uh, makes it actually switch to the right digit. So we're going to switch to the letter I of cash. We're going to set I to 1 at the beginning. Switch costume to letter I of cash. Oh, and we also want this to repeat the length of wave, letter I of cash. Set the clone ID to wave, create clone myself, change this by 24, possibly, uh, but okay. Now we never wanted to show, delete this block, we'll put that here, delete these two blocks, this goes there, and this is going to go, uh, we'll say, here, go to this at the beginning. And then this is going to go into the clone. So if the clone ID is equal to wave, then we'll put this in there. We'll put this right here, clean up the blocks, and then attach it. Whoops. Then clean up the blocks again. Okay. So it should do this. And instead of hiding at the end, we want it to delete itself. So let's kind of see what this is like. Wave zero. Let's try that again. At the beginning, do we want it to come up with a wave? Because sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I think, sure, we'll make it do that at the beginning. Uh, but we want it to actually work. So at the beginning, uh, well, let's see. Actually, we'll need to go here. Set the wave to the current wave. Wait until they're not equal. Uh, we will first just do it. 
uh, show. And for the score, we're also going to do the same thing. So, actually what's going to happen is we're going to make a, this block. We're going to put create uh, score digits. But then we're going to edit it and add in an input. We're going to click this button and we're going to say clone ID. We're going to do add that and make with the clone ID here, wave. Now up here, in the create score digits, we're going to make this score. Now here when it says set the clone ID, we're going to set the clone ID to the clone ID here. Alright, that should be good. Um, now we're also going to make the score digits to wave at the beginning. So wait 0.1 seconds and then do this. Alright, let's see. Okay. So that's just when the flag is clicked. Uh, we want it to be when we receive start. Uh, so when we receive uh, play. What? What did that? What just happened there? Clean up blocks. Okay. Here we're gonna go. And we also don't want this to be when flag clicked. We want this to be when we receive play. Okay, so when we click the flag, well, it's just sitting there. So we're going to need to go when flag clicked, hide. And that's just going to make sure that it's out of the way right at the beginning. We click play, wave, doesn't say what type of wave. Just says, didn't say anything at all. So that's because, why is that actually? So if we try this, the wave comes up, we play the game. Once we get to wave two, okay. So the problem we have here is that the wave is not changing and that's with this issue that we were having. So. I is for just enemies and I is pick random one to two so let's see what is this value this is seven how many do we have in dead guys we have seven but here it says it needs to be greater than this now here is our problem this is greater than this but remember how I said it needs to be greater than this minus one. There we go. Wave, well, wave nine is not exactly what we want. Wave nine is a little bit high, wouldn't you say? Wave 25, okay, so here's the problem. I've noticed that it was saying wave nine when the score was nine, and wave 25 when the score was 25. So we need it to uh, set it to, when it's doing this, it's setting the costume number of cash. We don't want it to be cash, uh, we want it to be another, a different something else. So we're gonna go here, and it wants to be cash or wave. So we're gonna click this, click edit, and we're gonna get add another input. And this is going to be, um, variable. So this is gonna be the variable that we're using so we're gonna add here it's going to be wave like that and up here it's going to be cash and now here when it's switching it to cash we want it to be a variable add that there add that there all right so now when we click the flag we press play wave it doesn't do anything at the beginning uh, why is that oh yeah so we needed to do wave here too. It still doesn't do anything. It's a little bit confusing. Wave 2, that seems to work. And when it did wave 25, that seemed like it worked. Which is pretty cool. I'm really happy that's working. But, the first one is not working. And why is that? At the beginning, it's uh, creating score digits of wave and wave. That should work. 
Um, but it's not. Is the simple answer. Um, it's waiting 0.1 seconds before doing that. The first one is coming up, but it's just the score is not going to the right spot. Ah, look at that. Did you see that? It went up right there. Something happened right there where something shot up, which means it looks like it's not in the, the right spot. So let's just go here. We say if it's wave, then let's just put this here. Uh, well, that's not going to be very good, actually. That's not really going to work. And that's because it needs to change sometimes. So here it's changing the X by 24. So the first one, let's like set I to 1. I don't know what I is doing. So let's just set that there and see what happens. Yeah, no, that doesn't do anything. Uh, but also see the score is 1 there. Uh, let's see what the cache is. It's zero. So why that's happening, I don't know. I think what that's gonna need to happen is this needs to go to the front layer. I don't know if that's actually it, but let's just try it and see what happens. So we're gonna click play, and nope, that's not the problem. Okay, so I think one of the problems is that we actually need to go to this position before we do this, which is pretty important, so let's just try that. And the score goes there, and it works, but then the score goes down there until we get another point. Once we get another point, then it goes up there. And from there, it works, but, huh. Let's set the Y to minus 180 when uh, it's the wave one, so we'll put that right there. And then here, we're just going to go to the X of 40. Set the X to 40, and we'll just do that instead. Now when we go here, play, wave one comes out, and the score just moves over. You know, I think actually the best way to do this is just to create a new uh, score and call this wave. Now we are going to have to do, uh, uh, we're going to have to undo some of our work, so sorry about that. Uh, we're going to have to go here and we can delete all this in the score sprite. We can delete all this. We can put this up here and then get rid of this. We can leave all this, and then this is all fine. So now we're gonna go to the wave. All this here we can delete. This here we can delete. This we can put right here, and we can delete this. Uh, we can delete this. We can go down here, uh, and we can delete this. And we can put this here. Put that there. Now we can also delete this uh, current score variable. So now when we play, wave one comes out, the score is fine. Wave two comes out, and the score is fine. And that seems to be working just fine. Wave three. That looks really great. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next part, and I will see you next time. Hey guys, remember to subscribe, like, comment, share, and congratulations on making it this far in the shooter game. We are finally done with waves for now, and we're going to be getting on to something pretty interesting next time.